Well, that was exciting. We just finished big box number 67. Thanks for joining in, everyone. So, this is your first video. You're not sure what's going on. I bought a company out three years ago, a little over three years ago, of all their sewing machines. Good ones and parts ones. And it was about 700 of them. About 150 good ones. And the rest were parts machines. And it included about 100 boxes. I started box opening number one three years ago. And I just finished box number 67. Number 68's there. So let's take a quick peek here. There's 68. We have, after 68, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 45, 36, 37, 38, 30. I would say approximately 45 to 50 boxes still. Still 45 to 50 boxes. Here's my new little buddy. Hi Penny. How you doing? So cute. Alright. She's not whining so that's good. It's a nicer day today. It's not so cold. Over seven degrees. Box sixty eight little. Because there's a bunch of littles in there. So what we're going to do, what I like to do with these little ones here, is pull the boxes out first. And we'll get rid of this big box. Oop, I'm seeing bobbins. I'm seeing bobbins. That's cool. I like bobbins. Always request for bobbins. Always. Ooh, spool pins or spool caps. All right. So there's that box is gone. Maybe I can sit down and make myself comfortable. Put my mask on. It's for dust. No, oh, get a drink first. Pet the dog's head. Hi, pennies. You want to go lay down on your? You're a nice comforter. You're looking like you're real cold. Or you can lay down right there. Come on. Okay. All right. Let's cut you right here. Here you goes. Good girls. All right, let's see what we got going here. I don't like that chair. I sink, I sink in too far. A whole box of like touch and sew spool pin caps. They came in yellow and they come in blue, or not yellow, but white that turn yellow over time and then blue. And just a whole bunch of them. That's what the whole box was. So there's that. Here's a few more. Put these on so we'll make sure we're in focus here. Hmm. Little piece of round soft. I don't know what that's for. Oh, I know what that is. No kidding. You know what this is for? I didn't know they made them, but you can replace. These go bad after a while. And they go right inside there. Wow. Well, I probably got enough of there. I can use them myself to repair all those. And 
more of them. They got the little, the little ones too. They got the little felts for the little. There gotta be small ones in here. Oh, so these are valuable. Just the little ones. Okay, we might as well put them in the bag so they don't get lost. And, okay, these are just the back of circles, I think. Just the paper. So that's trash. Okay. All right, we got a box. It's Mark Singer Ruffler. They lied. It's not a Singer, but I mean it will work for a Singer, but it's it's an aftermarket, aftermarket. I got plenty of original Singer Rufflers if you need a Ruffler. Uh oh, sweet! We just found one of these in the last video. This one's a little different. It's a slant quilting foot. Oh, it's actually a low. Actually a low. Found this original. It's plastic. Don't let the plastic fool you. They actually work real well. There's two of them. Two low shank quilting feet. Wow. Is that where way we're going to start? That's a good find. That's a good find. We have uh, some needle plates. Oh, we got a box where we're just gonna we'll just put put the stuff on the table and organize it later. Um, it looks like like some kind of positioning bracket. It's a feed dog, something. I don't know what that is. Uh, straight stitch, two piece system, singer foot. We have uh, some some pulley wheels. Uh, Gears, some gears. All it has is one six two three two eight. Here's a loose gear. Kind of looks like that. Uh, these are Singer two-piece system. They're they're calling them uh, for snap-on buttonhole. Oh, they even got, that's too funny, these individual flex stitch cams bagged up. Okay, cool. This is going to go faster. I have every flex stitch cam number you can think of. I, I'm pretty sure I do. Don't they go from like 57 or number 54 to 60? I don't know. They're not too highly requested, so I have a lot in inventory. I've been seeing these a lot. Retention release pins. Tension release pins. Uh, Singer tension stud backs. Singer some kind of shaft washer. A foot. It's many. It's a zigzag low. If you need a zigzag low foot, I have tons of them. Low shank zigzag foot. I have tons. Fits model question mark. That's the 400 series. It's a thrill needle plate. Here's another one. It said question mark. That's what it's for. Plus probably others. Some kind of wiring. Singer stop motion cushion springs. Cushion springs. Interesting. A thumb screw. Some plastic Singer bobbins, probably aftermarket. Oh, glad I looked on the bottom. An open, he's getting requested a lot. An open toe foot, some kind of Singer hand wheel gear. Singer hand wheel gear. Singer stop motion screw washers. 403 tension assembly. Spring. Oh, just the tension assembly. It looks like it's it's all in parts. Okay. Singer spring. Someone really like to label everything. Hey, 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 hey! That's a good find there. I know what that is. That's a Rocketeer spring. I think it is. Is it? Sure looks like it. It just says Singer spring. 
Now you can buy them new. I have to compare, but it, it sure looks like a Rocketeer top cover spring. And you got those little guys. Uh, Singer bobbin winder spring. Yep, Singer spring. That looks like the other Rocketeer spring. A reverse level. Some of these, some of these kind of springs. Another one of those. Some more of those plastic. Plastic bobbins. We just dumped them right on the table. I don't care. We got more white check springs. White. White check springs. Oh. Oh. Rocketeer spool pins. Yeah, 503 500. It's missing the spring part of it. And this is what I was talking about was in the bag, which I think is a Rocketeer top cover spring. Does it look like one? Kind of looks like one. I could be wrong. Could be wrong, though. Okay, that's it for that one. Well, this is exciting. Oh, more bobbins. I, I needed some of these, although these kind of look new. Which, I don't know how well they're going to work. Let me see. The originals would say Japan. I think they say Japan on the originals. Usually, let me see what they sound like. Hmm, I don't know. They look kind of shiny. I'm taking, I'm going to say they're new. They're Class 66 second generation four hole bobbins. Unfortunately, there's really hard to distinguish the vintage ones over the new ones. Now the new ones might work just fine too. We got a lot of plastic bobbins here. That's class 66 third generation plastic bobbins. That's a, these plastic ones are the same as these steel ones. And I'm seeing this is a bag of original Singer plastic bobbins. Those are original Singer plastic bobbins. They say Singer on them. Whenever those came out. When did they come out with the plastics? So it's been around a while. Boy, these look bad. A couple of rusty bobbins. Here's a first generation. Ooh, that's a good find. Let's get them out of this nasty bag. First generation, class 66. That a really, really rough shape. Real rough. That needs a dip in a vapor rust. But these are your best bobbins for your old singers. If they're black and it's old, and it's a class 66, that's the one you want. All right, let's get into it here. Uh, all right. It says it found in Bob's bench drawer. It's kind of funny. I'm not. I can't even make that stuff up. Found in Bob's bench drawer. That's what it says. Look at this. Look at how they bagged every little part. Oh my goodness! Talking about tiny parts. Does anybody ever request such a tiny thing? It says it's a spring tension. Assembly, touch and sew, bobbin case. Oh, interesting. Some kind of tension plate, touch and sew part. I don't know. I know it's blurry back here, but we're trying to get in close here. On these little parts here, see what we're doing here? What does that say? A positioning finger for a singer. Yes! Yes! That's broken. They even put a broken part and bagged it up. That's too crazy. Look at these little tiny things. Man. Dollar ninety-five each. Singer tensions tension. Not for bobbin case. It's little tiny parts. Man, oh man, hey, one of these, uh, a hook reel driver, a hook reel driver, $20 part, that's what it says, 
Another hook wheel driver. Another wheel driver. Yay! For straight stitch machines. Another one. Thread guide. Touch and sew. Hey, a bobbin case. Touch and sew. What happens is those little springs break. And I actually got those little springs somewhere. There's another one. Got them for sale if you need them. I hope all these are good and not broken ones. Oh, this is nice. A bag of three. A bag of three. When you're looking at $20, $25 a piece, that's a good find to find six or seven like that. That means more treats for Penny. And this is some kind of a... Uh, Actually, would you believe my dog, my new dog, I try to give her some good treats. She wouldn't eat them. She don't want the treats. But she'll eat good food. She'll eat the dry food like crazy. She'll eat Caesars. I'll mix it with the dry food. She loves that dry food, so don't need the spoiler. I tried to even get her a bone. She didn't want that either. anyone's ever request this whole assembly part but there you have it there you have it I just don't see how it would go bad I mean how do you you know I could see losing this part or these going bad which I have but that whole assembly oh going backwards all right how much time we got? Three more minutes before we hit 20 minutes. Springs, uh, bobbin positioning bracket. I just sold a couple of these for some reason, like two last week for slant models. They just pull right out of there. And here's a, uh, it's just a 66. There's two that kind of look the same, but it looks like a just a drop in bobbin case. And um, sinker studs, spring lid spring, could be a rocketeer thing, use needle plate release, good way to learn names, some of those, I think the tension release pins, that's what you call them, they got bags of used ones, like they collected them. Unlabeled, just bagged. Oh, too bad there aren't lock washers. I could use some more lock washers. Regulator washers. Regulator washers. Um, Singer stitch, stitch length regulator shaft. Wow, someone really got into some real deep servicing. A lot more than I could do. I don't do any, actually. I don't service them. My specialty is providing the parts. You know, once in a while, oh good, some new plastic spool pins. These are like for a uh, 237. Here's one for a uh, slant model. They're a little different than a 237. Uh, I don't service them. I, my specialty is finding vintage sewing machines and parts. Either one at a time or sometimes in big lots from companies. I buy a lot of inventory. So a lot of these parts you might get and don't even come off in a machine. But I do have a lot of parts machines. Whole bag of these. That's nice. More of them. Good because I was getting low on those. Nice. N nothing like... Uh, I don't have a wholesaler for these rubber feet no more, but you can use them on your bent wood case. I got the perfect screws for it. And you can use them on most machines. And there you have it. 20 minutes on the nose. Hope you liked it. And thanks for watching. Enjoy your day, everyone.